Here's the general strategy. Build projects for your learning instead of worrying about how they'll look on your portfolio. When I was starting out, I obsessed over how unique my projects were since I was hoping to have them stand out on my resume. I ruled out countless projects because other people had already built them before so they didn't feel unique enough. But that was a complete waste of time. Thankfully, I eventually escaped the overthinking stage and was able to build several ML projects for my understanding. Let's get into project number one. Build a sentiment analysis model. This is an emotion detector model that takes in text like a sentence or paragraph and outputs a number between negative one and one indicating negative or positive emotion. This project will teach you a ton since you'll get familiar with the basics of NLP or natural language processing. This includes concepts like tokenization, the process of splitting up text into tokens like characters or words, and word embeddings which are vectors for words that also encode their meaning. Here's a general plan for building a sentiment analysis model. First, decide on a data set like Amazon reviews or Yelp reviews. Our goal is to train a model to detect which reviews are positive and which ones are negative. This is straightforward for reviews like these two, but is much more complex for a review like this. Next, decide which type of model you'll use. If you're new to ML, I recommend a simple statistical approach like the naive Bayes algorithm, which is based on the concept of conditional probability. If you already have some ML experience, I recommend building a simple neural network. The input should of course be a vector with all of the words in the review, each encoded as a number, and the output should use the tanh function so that we get values between negative negative one and one. I'll leave it to you to figure out the structure of the network. And if you're interested, I have a video breaking this down linked in the pinned comment. Lastly, here's how I would describe a sentiment analysis project on a resume. Name drop the frameworks you used, like scikit-learn, numpy, or pytorch, since some companies directly scan your resume for certain keywords. It also wouldn't hurt to mention specific metrics that your model achieved, like accuracy or the F1 score. The second project I recommend is training your own mini LLM. This project is truly a test of your NLP and neural network understanding. The first step is to choose a very large data set. The last time I trained a mini LLM, I went with a text file that contained the lyrics of every Drake song. You can honestly go with anything, like a text file of every single Harry Potter book. For the actual model, you'll want to follow the original transformer architecture from the paper Attention is All You Need. This 2017 paper from Google revolutionized ML since ChatGPT and almost every LLM uses the transformer. The best part is that you don't need an expensive GPU for this. The free GPU on Google Colab works fine, but if you want your model to train even faster, you can buy $10 of GPU credit from Google. It's incredibly satisfying to see the model generating new text, and again, this will really deepen your understanding. As far as how to describe this project on your resume, stating that you re-implemented the paper, attention is all you need, should be sufficient. And again, it wouldn't hurt to mention any metrics that your LLM achieves, like its perplexity. The next project I recommend is one that not only teaches you a ton, but has actually been recommended by hiring managers on LinkedIn and will definitely enhance your portfolio. It's fine-tuning an LLM, essentially customizing it based on a unique data set. You can choose virtually any data set, and I've recently experimented with competition math problems and text-to-SQL generation. As far as compute goes, the LoRa technique, which stands for Low Rank Adaptation, makes fine-tuning much, much simpler, and Google Colab will be sufficient. LoRa makes use of a linear algebra trick, and if you're interested in the full details, I have a video breaking this concept down, linked in the pinned comment. As far as libraries go, the Transformers library from Hugging Face will be your go-to. This library is built on top of PyTorch, so it abstracts away some of the neural network details of the Transformer. That isn't a bad thing, since it lets us focus on the more critical details of fine-tuning, but it does mean that it's more important than ever to understand every single line of code. Even if it means going back to the fundamentals, like gradient descent. To really hammer in the point, don't just call train or fit without making the connection to gradient descent. Finally, for the actual LLM, you can fine-tune BERT, an encoder-based transformer, or GPT-2 and LLAMA, which are decoder-based transformers. All of these models are also open source, which is what makes this project possible. For your resume, call out the model you used, the data set, and any key evaluation metrics. The second to last project is to build a RAG workflow. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation, which I know is a mouthful, but it's a must-know topic for machine learning engineers. The main idea is to let an LLM talk to a database so that new and updated information that wasn't in the original training data can be accessed. One of the main use cases of RAG is developing company-specific LMs. We can let the model access internal company documents that weren't in the original training data. To build a RAG workflow, you'll need three key components. The first is your data set. I personally have used transcripts from recent award shows since these wouldn't be in the original training data. After building the workflow, I'm 
I'm able to ask the model certain facts like who won best picture. You'll also need a vector database to store your data set. Chroma DB is a solid open source option. Lastly, you'll need an embedding model and a corresponding retriever algorithm to search the vector DB. I go over this in more detail in my rag video linked in the pinned comment. As far as how to describe this on your resume, I'll be honest, I don't have a magical formula here, but I can guarantee that hiring managers are looking to see that you're familiar with RAG. The best option for your resume description is to emphasize the value in a corporate setting since almost every company wants an internal LLM these days. Finally, project number five. It's very different from the other projects on this list, so I considered not including it, but here it is as a bonus. Implement a CNN or convolutional neural network from scratch. This project is extremely rigorous and you will need a strong background in linear algebra and multivariable calculus. For the library, no PyTorch or TensorFlow allowed. The goal is to do this with only NumPy. Don't worry if you're not ready for this project yet, as it's definitely an intense challenge. For your resume, I recommend reporting your accuracy on the MNIST and CIFAR datasets. These datasets are the bread and butter of computer vision and are extremely straightforward to get started with. That wraps up the five projects, so let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you soon.